This time I'm gonna compare two budget graphics cards, the Radeon RX 580 and the Nvidia GTX 1060. So if you plan on building a budget gaming PC, I will help you decide which one to buy. The GTX 1060 sells in the market for a while now, where the RX 580 is a new release and it's priced higher than its competitor. I didn't want to compare the graphic chips in general, choosing the top of the line cards, which normally would cost a lot more than this, instead I chose one of the cheapest variants of the two. So we have the GTX 1060 3GB version from KFA2 which cost $190 and the RX 580 4GB version from Gigabyte being a newer model priced higher at $240. Before I even start we already see that the RX 580 has 1GB more VRAM but it is also $50 more expensive. Both cards have dual 90mm cooling fans and a backplate but the RX comes equipped with RGB lighting which makes it look really cool. The GTX on the other hand may not have RGB lights but it's supposed to be extremely overclocked from factory as its name suggests. In general the GTX runs at higher clock speeds and uses less power. If you want more details and specifications about the cards I will leave a link in the description for both. I will perform all benchmarks in the exact same way and exact same settings. All tests will be done 3 times in order to achieve a more accurate result. We start first from synthetic benchmarks and a recently released one from Unigine, the superposition. Here we see that the green team performed better with higher average and higher max frames per second. Next at Unigine Valley we see that higher clock speeds did their job and managed to make a bigger difference in frames. The average frames for Team Red was 87 whereas for Team Green was 98. At Firestrike now we see that Team Red performed better in all 3 tests so that's a win for Team Red. And now let's move on in gaming. I will run the game side by side with stats monitoring so you can see which one performs better at all times. Sit back and enjoy. As we saw the two cards performed similarly with a really small difference in frames but overall the GTX was faster and performed better. The difference is literally small so I wouldn't suggest 
choosing from performance results. On the other side, if we will look closely at temperatures, we will notice that the GTX runs overall cooler and quieter, although they have the same cooling system. Plus, in order to run the 580, you will need a bigger power supply and an 8-pin connector, whereas the 1060 uses less power and a 6-pin power connector. In my opinion, I would rather go for the GTX 1060, which I can't say was a lot better, but if you consider the price and power consumption, I would rather invest those $50 on a GTX 1060 6GB version, which would give me even better performance performance results. But if you prefer a better looking car with fancy lighting and don't bother for the extra consumption, then go for the RX 580. So that was it guys, thank you all for watching, I hope you like the comparison. Please let me know what you think in the comments and leave a like and subscribe for more. See you on the next one.